Okay, so staying with our footprinting and reconnaissance labs, we're going to be looking at smart who is. So we're going to go to demos.com to grab our smart who is download. So it's smart who is. And this is the tool and what it's going to look like. We're going to go down to download. And we're going to go down, we're going to find Smart Who Is. And we're going to go ahead and download it. It's fairly small, it only takes a second. Let's go ahead and install it. Read the disclaimer. It's going to install in that location. No. Uh, we're using Chrome and an Explorer, so I want to have it just install the Chrome extensions. English. Launch Smart Who is when the installation is completed. Sure. Create the shortcut on the desktop. Sure. There is the requirements. Okay. And here we go. Who is going to use specific ports? Yes. So I'm going to go ahead, we don't want to check for updates, I'm going to close everything, and you'll see that it's on our desktop. And here is our smart who is. It's an evaluation copy, but works nonetheless. So let's go ahead and look at a domain, google.com. It'll query Google, it should pull up one of its IP addresses, and its contact info. Just like any who is a web search, should bring up the same information, like when it was created, when it updates, when it expires. So I work at CSN, so I want to look up CSN. So here's the address for the school. Here's our support staff. Here's the uh, director of infrastructure in charge of it. Here's our name servers and IP addresses. We have an unknown Google page rank. This uh, domain was created in 2007. It was updated in 2013. And it happens to expire this year, July 31st. And we can keep looking up information and it's just going to query who owns those domains, who contact information and whatnot. But what happens when you get a domain that's protected? Who is protected? What is that? Happens to be that I pay for a protection called Who is Protection, and uh, none of my detailed information will be shared because uh, this is me. I own this site. My certificate will expire this year. It was created 2012. But if you email this email address, this is actually me. This will get forwarded to me. So I wanted to point that out because being able to look up information on who owns domains is kind of important. So this is our brief little overview of a smart who is.